The Magical Kitty Once upon a time, in a happy kingdom, there lived a queen, a king, and their adorable little baby Princess Leah. She was the most playful and lovable little baby ever. One day, the queen was out in the garden with Leah and her attendants. Suddenly, from the bushes, out fell a huge and tubby ginger cat. Boo-boo-boo! The cat's fur was filled with leaves and dirt, and it looked to be in pain. <laughs> hmm. What? Oh, a cat! Oh, Shoo! This cat is too dirty! Go away! Shoo! Shoo! The poor cat felt very sad and turned to go away. But as she saw it go, baby Leah suddenly started to cry. <coughs> oh dear, seems like Leah really likes the cat. Let's keep it. It can be her pet. So the cat was picked up and taken into the palace. There the maids washed and cleaned it thoroughly. They treated its paw well and finally tied a huge pretty ribbon around its neck. My, it looks simply adorable. Leah would love it. Leah, see the pretty kitty? The the the. <laughs> Leah loved the cat so much that she wouldn't sleep without it being there with her. She would cry endlessly until the cat came to her. They were inseparable and would always be found together. My sweet, isn't it amazing just how strong their bond is? Yes, indeed. I hope this bond continues for long. That cat is the only thing that keeps Leah happy. Yes. <laughs> that night, when the whole world was asleep, the cat woke up and shook off its bandages. Oh, it's healed. My injury is finally healed. I should leave from this palace. My sweet princess is still asleep. Thank you for your kindness. I will never forget it. The next morning, there was a hunt for the cat. The attendants, cleaners, cooks, and everyone in the palace looked high and low for it. Here, kitty, where are you? Where has this silly cat gone now? Did you find it, dear? Yes, I did. See? That's a stuffed toy. Isn't it the same thing? <sighs> In this way, the cat was forgotten from the palace. Many years passed by, and Princess Leah grew up to be a cheerful and extremely beautiful woman. She loved to go outside for long walks in the forest to see the pretty flowers and sing with the little birds. Such a beautiful day! Don't you think so too? Well, yes, Princess! Oh, it's beautiful! Oh, yes! Simply lovely! <laughs> sleep, sleep, gently sleep Close your eyes and soundly sleep And with that, the two tired attendants dropped off into a deep slumber Leah was very happy, as now she could go wherever she pleased. Ah, freedom! Let's see what I'll find if I go a little further. And as she went on, she started to sing happily. Her voice was gentle and sweet and attracted all the songbirds. But it also attracted a very mean giant ogre who lived in that forest. Oh, ho, 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 ho. what a pretty sound. I'm from such a pretty lady. <laughs> I think I want her for my own. La, 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 la. Oh, let me go. <laughs> I will take you home and you shall be my wife. No, no, help me, please. But no one heard her screams as she had gone too far and her attendants were fast asleep. 
Away he took her into his dark cave. He put her down, and she began to cry. Now you are mine. Stop your awful crying. I don't want any of that horrible sound in here. I want you to sing to me every day. Now, sing. And poor Leah started to sing through her tears, but there was nothing she could do. La, la, la. In the evening, the ogre was thirsty and made Leah go out to fetch water from the stream. Go and take this bucket with you. And don't even think of running away. If you do, I will chase you till I find you. Poor Leah sadly went towards the stream. When she reached there, she saw a cat sleeping on a rock. It was the same cat she had played with as a baby, but she didn't remember it. Oh, how cute! Here, kitty kitty, come to me. Leah stretched her hand out to touch it, but it bounced away into the bushes. Oh dear, I guess it's not my lucky day. What? Wow! Oh, you came. Here, come here. Nice kitty. Oh, how beautiful you are. Would you be my friend? I don't have any friends here. And a mean ogre has kidnapped me to be his bride. Wow! I can't even run away or else he'll come after me. Huh. I wish you could save me. Would you, little kitty? And as she said that, the little kitty turned into a handsome young man with bright red hair. But there was something even more strange about him. He had cat ears on his head and a tail swishing around behind him. Oh! Ah! What are you? Who... Please, don't be afraid. I am Prince Radley from the neighboring kingdom. When I was young, I was a very mean kid, and so I was cursed to be a cat spirit to stay in this forest. But there must be a way to break this curse. Well, there is one way. I must do a great deed of kindness to someone, and they must not know of it. Only then will I go back to my normal self. A kind act? That does sound very... Princess! Where have you gone off to? I am dying of thirst and you have disappeared! Oh no! I... I have to go! Goodbye! Wait! Leah! Oh no! What? Wait! How did you know my name? But Radley had hidden himself within the bushes. The next afternoon, when Leah was trying to cook for the ogre, Radley jumped in at the window. Oh! Hello, Kitty. Um, I mean Radley. Hi. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Trying to make something good for that huge monster. Would strawberries taste good in a soup? Uh, strawberry soup? Yeah. Um, sure. Great. Let me go and just get them. I love strawberries. And as Leah went out searching for strawberries, Radley saw the hot pepper bottle in front of him. Hmm. I wonder if I could just... Oh, well... Found the strawberries. Now, let's mix it all together. This soup is going to be amazing, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Totally super. Um, well, I have to go somewhere. Uh, meet me at the stream when you're done here, okay? And with that, he leapt out the window. Princess! Where's my soup? If you don't bring it now, I'll eat you as my royal lunch. Uh, here's your soup. I tried to make it with lots of delicious things. It may be a little sweet. The ogre snorted at this and put a whole spoonful of soup in his mouth. But he was in for a shock, as the soup wasn't sweet at all. If anything, the ogre felt like there was a fire in his mouth. Hot! Hot! 
What did you? Ha, 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 put in this soup. Water, water. The ogre ran out of the cave towards the river, but Radley was waiting for him. He had grown his tail long and had tied it to a tree. Ha, water, need water. <laughs> Here he comes, now. Radley pulled his magical tail, and the ogre, who was running at full speed, tripped over the tail and fell straight into the river. He was washed away by the strong current and was never seen again. Whoa! Oh, what, what happened? I finished off the giant for you. You're now free to leave. Really? That's amazing! Oh, thank you, Radley. Ooh, this whole thing was so scary. I wish this had never happened. Radley felt very sorry for the poor princess, so he put his hand on her head and petted her slowly. I will grant this wish of yours. You won't remember anything that happened about the ogre. Don't fear anything and sleep soundly, my sweet Leah. What are you? Leah's eyes felt heavy, and she soon fell asleep. Radley picked her up and went towards the palace. When he reached there, he stood under her window and looked up. This will be a long way. Hold tight, Leah. Radley grew his tail up and up until it reached the princess's window. He caught her tightly and pulled them both up safely. And once in, he tucked her up in her warm bed. Sleep well, my princess. I hope we meet again. When Radley reached down, he suddenly started to glow, and the cat ears and tail disappeared from his body. Since Radley had saved Princess Leah from the ogre and had removed her memory, his curse had now been removed. I... I'm a normal human again. I'm free. Oh. <laughs> and he went back happily to his kingdom. The next morning, when the princess awoke, the king and queen burst into the room. My daughter, oh, where have you been? Leah, oh Leah, are you all right? But Leah couldn't remember anything. She was most shocked to see her parents standing over her, worried. What? What's wrong? Why are you both so worried? I had such a strange dream about a cat and an ogre and a very handsome man. I wonder who he was. As the days went by, the king and queen noticed that their daughter wasn't her usual self. She always seemed to be in a dream. I seem to have forgotten something very important, but I don't know what it is. Our poor daughter doesn't seem to be happy these days. What do you think we should do? The only thing we haven't tried is marriage. Oh yes, let's do that. She may be able to find happiness in someone she can love. So the next day, princes of many kingdoms came to see her. Leah saw them all, but didn't like even one. At that moment, Radley came to greet her, and as he smiled and bowed, Leah was very surprised. You! You are the prince I dreamt of! I'm flattered, your highness. Does that mean you choose to marry me? Only if you can tell me what I love the most. Only then will I marry you. Oh? Let me guess. Is it strawberries? How How did you know? Eh, just a simple guess. <laughs> and soon they were married and lived happily together. Leah loved Radley with all her heart. She adopted a little kitten too. And as for Radley, he never told her about the past, as sometimes it is best to keep things to oneself.